Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the top five swords. So let's get on into it. So coming in at number five is going to be the Eclipse Edge with 352 attack minus accuracy but it has raised potency of dark base attacks and also the Heretic's Greatsword because it also has raises potency of dark base attacks. So just to give you a few examples, this dark sword could be good for casty builds, arcanus builds, even Throne I can make use of this dark potency. So you can pick up Eclipse Edge from the shark, the boss shark that spawns down here at the Curious Ness in the sea. The Heretic's Great Sword can be found at the Ruffian's Hideout all the way to the east in a chest. Alright, coming in at number 4 is gonna be Firestarter. It's got physical attack of 195, but it's got a lot of elemental attack, which is 298, and it has increased potency of fire base attacks. This is a really great starting item that you could just pick up instantly. It's from a chest. You can pick up the Firestarter at the Eastern Ku Sands in a chest. This is a great weapon for any kind of fire build, or applying fire based room buffs, or giving to Oswald early on. Alright, coming in at number 3 is gonna be... a uh, Guardian Slice Blade. It's got 203 physical attack, evasion 41, but equip effect is gonna be raises potency of ice based attacks. So you can acquire this blade from Ochet's Chapter 2 at the Sacred Peak. No. So this is good for casty builds, uh, room buff builds, and it's especially fun on Oswald. Alright, coming in at number 2 is gonna be... Serpent Slayer. It's got a really high attack of... 420. It's blazing. It's got minus accuracy and minus critical. Now if you equip blessing in disguise, you can turn those minus into positive. To get this fantastic weapon, you need to go beneath the wall. And it's in the Infernal Castle. And I'll leave a link in the description of how to actually do this quest. Now this is a fantastic physical based weapon that lets you easily cap off at the 999 physical attack cap and you could just dish out all kinds of delicious damage. Alright, coming in at number one is gonna be... Well, I'm getting kinda dizzy, hold up guys. It's gonna be... The Battle Tested Blade! Surprise! It's got 400 physical attack, 120 crit, and it raises potency of physical skills. Every single melee build out there should have this equipped just for that physical increase in potency. Plus, it's also really good. 400 and it's fantastic. So, you can get this fantastic weapon after Hikari's main story has been completed at the uh, Crack Ridge Harbor from Bendelum. He's standing up at a cliff. You can purchase it. You can also farm it with a 2% chance to drop in, in Tropu Hopu from this young man right here. Like I said before, this is a fantastic sword and a must for any physical type of builds because of that raised in potency. So, yep, this kind of explains everything right here. I'm still running in circles! So yeah guys, that is the top 5 swords in Octopath Traveler 2. Let me know if you guys like this kind of uh, videos. Um, they take a bit to make, they're a little fun, but I want to know what you guys uh, think, so uh, let me know if I should continue making these. And uh, you guys all have a fantastic day! See ya travelers!